I've been tasting a lot of different mushrooms and one of the common themes is that they usually taste like some sort of meat. But today we're gonna be testing something just a little bit different. We're gonna be testing a sweet mushroom. This mushroom goes by the name, the candy cat mushroom. Now supposedly the candy cat mushroom tastes just like candy. I wanna give this little guy a taste and see what happens. I also wanna to try to add it to a dessert, add it to a sweet and see how it comes out. Now I'm not exactly sure what sweet we're gonna add it to. First, I wanna give it a taste. I wanna give it a try and see what the candy cat mushroom actually tastes like. I will say I got this little bag here of the candy cat mushroom. This is a dried candy cat mushroom. And as soon as I opened up the bag, it was a very easily distinguishable smell. These things smell just like maple syrup. It's wild. Does this thing actually taste like candy or does it just have that smell? Wow. The candy cat mushroom is also known as the Lactarius rubber dust. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'll leave the name right here. Candy cat mushrooms are specifically known for their very sweet, mapley smell when they're dried. That mapley smell and taste that the candy cat mushroom is known for doesn't exist when the mushroom's fresh. It actually happens when different chemical compounds and amino acids break down and combine together to create that very specific smell. There's not one acid or chemical compound that is responsible for it. It's a combination of a bunch. Candy cat mushrooms are native to the Pacific Northwest. You'll find them growing along the west coast of the United States. They're available fresh from mid to late winter, but honestly, you can find them dried pretty much year round. I bought mine dried from a seller on Etsy. Fresh, the candy cat mushrooms are prepared a lot of the times with some savory dishes. They are added as a sweet and shockingly added to a lot of desserts. There's even some breweries that brew them into their beer. <laughs> That's pretty neat. The candy cat mushroom also has a pretty nice nutritional value, and they do contain a lot of B vitamins such as thiamine, riboflavin, and folate. Now, I've been describing the smell and taste as like a maple syrup type of smell, maple syrup type of flavor, but people have also said that it tastes like, like a butterscotch or a brown sugar. Pretty cool. So we have the candy cat mushrooms. I think one of the very first things I wanna do is try to rehydrate them. I'm gonna rehydrate about half of these and see what they taste like, see how they come out rehydrated. Now the easiest way to rehydrate these is of course with some water. So I'm just gonna add them to a tea strainer and then I'm just gonna add some tap water to them. Not scalding hot, but pretty warm, uh, very warm to the touch. And I'm just gonna let these guys sit in this like warm water bath for about 15 minutes. Okay, these look perfect, perfectly hydrated, really nice and soft. They, they came back to life. So the next step before we taste test these guys is I'm gonna soften, soften them up with some butter. Just gonna throw them into a large skillet. Now this is Earth Balance vegan butter. You can use whatever vegan butter you want, margarine, whatever you got. Now I will say frying these guys up with some butter definitely releases a different smell. It still has that sweet smell, honestly, almost a bit chocolatey, but there's some mushroom smell is kind of popping out now. So there's this sweet and savory thing that's happening. And these are all pretty small, so we're only gonna saute them for just a few moments. Okay, so let's see if these guys are actually sweet or if they just smell sweet. So they definitely have a richness to them. They kind of have a little bit of a mushroom taste to them, but for the most part, they still have a little bit of the sweetness. Not much, but it's still there. I think I'm gonna add them the chocolate chip cookies. Now, just from doing a little bit of research, it does seem like people do make some candy cap cookies. I'm not gonna follow any of those recipes. I'm just gonna make a basic vegan chocolate chip cookie. Now I'm gonna rehydrate and saute up another batch of these. I'm gonna fill up probably about a cup of these, but then I'm also gonna use some of the dehydrated portion left for some flavoring. That's really gonna make a big difference. Okay, let's do that. So while we're waiting for this other batch to rehydrate, I'm gonna take about two tablespoons worth and use my old coffee grinder, which has been turned into my spice grinder. And we're gonna going to grind up very fine some of these dehydrated ones. These dehydrated ones really, really have that super sweet smell. So I'm really thinking it's gonna add to the flavor. So at this point, I'm just gonna chop these guys up just to about chip size, like chocolate chip size, maybe a little bit smaller, just little bits of them. That's what we're gonna load our cookies with. The smell off of these things is pretty crazy. Okay, let's get started making our plant-based cookies using these mushrooms. First thing we're gonna do is make an egg replacer. So in a small bowl, I'm just using this egg replacer here. Now you can use Bob's Red Mill egg replacer, any egg replacer that you like. You could use flaxseed, whatever you want. Now I'm gonna use a stand mixer with a paddle attachment. You don't have to do that. That's just what I'm using. So I'm gonna do about a half cup of the Earth Balance 
vegan butter. Just whip this on a low speed until it's soft. Shouldn't take that long. It's already at room temperature. That didn't take that long. Now we're gonna add one cup of brown sugar and the dehydrated mushroom powder. Now hopefully you got about two tablespoons. It's close enough. I'm just gonna close this up and whip this together until it's pretty creamy. It should go together fairly fast. I think that mushroom powder is really gonna soak in that butter. It's gonna be really cool. Okay, once you have that super creamy consistency, we're gonna quickly mix in the egg. Now the egg, now this egg gets very sticky. I'm just gonna mix that on a slow speed until it's mixed in really quick. Shouldn't take that long. And while we're mixing that in, I'm just gonna put together one and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna do two and a half teaspoons of tapioca starch. The tapioca starch is really gonna give these like a chew. It's gonna add some density to them, which is gonna be really nice. Then about one teaspoon of baking soda. Then all we're gonna do is just mix this together really low until it's all combined, just on a low speed. It should start to kind of crumble together and then form our cookie dough. Okay, this came out perfect. This looks awesome. God, that really smells like that maple syrup. Amazing. So I have my mushrooms here and I have some, these are vegan chocolate chips. You could get these pretty much at most grocery stores. Just check the back. This one's from Toll House. What I'm gonna do, cause I wanna make half of these chocolate chip mushroom and then another half of them where they're just mushroom. So I'm cutting the dough in half. So, and I want about, I want a lot, I like a lot of chocolate chips. So I'm gonna do about a cup of chocolate chips. Let's do a little less. Let's do about a half of a cup. So we're gonna take half this in here. Half a cup of chocolate chips, do about a tablespoon of the mushroom, fold these guys together, weird combination. And then for the other one, all of the mushrooms, the rest of these mushrooms. <laughs> so I've got these guys in two kind of little log packages that should be easy to cut up and turn into cookies. We're gonna throw these in the freezer for about 15, 20 minutes to firm up and then we're gonna move forward. Okay, so these guys have firmed up. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 degrees. So this is my mushroom only cookie. We're gonna cut these into about five cookies. This is a one inch log here. And then I'm just gonna roll these guys into a ball and set them on my parchment lines baking sheet. Okay, oven's ready to go. Let's cook these for about 12, 15 minutes. Okay, these guys are done. There's an incredibly odd mushroom and sweet smell that's happening right now. Okay, so I did drop a bit of kosher salt on these things. I mean, look at these cookies. Look at them. Let's see, does the mushroom cookie stand up? Is the candy cat mushroom sweet? That is wild. That is wildly good. So there's still like a sweetness to them. They're warm, they have a really delicious flavor like that's very hard to describe. Definitely not mushroom-like. I'm a fan of the candy cat mushroom cookie. These are really good. It kind of tastes like a caramel mochiato. That's a cool, okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna take these over to my buddy's house for poker night. It's cookie night at poker night. I wanna see what these guys think. Okay, Andy, hmm. let me know what you I've think. I've that a couple times. Doesn't it's good. Matter. What do you think it is? Mushrooms. It's not bad though. What if I told you it was mushrooms? Just like mushrooms to me. Is this really a mushroom one? Okay, Ben. What do you think it is? I think it's maple syrup. Really? Maple syrup? That's so funny. What if I told you it was a mushroom? I love it even more because I love mushrooms. Would you have guessed? I really would not. If you haven't yet, please make sure you click the subscribe button and click this video right here. It's gonna be another one of my mushroom videos.